Hey yo, my planet coaster friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and welcome back to another coaster spotlight contest edition. We're getting right into the advanced builder bracket today with two dueling, no limits wooden coasters. So stay tuned and let's check them out. All right, welcome back everyone. Hope you're all doing good today. We're getting into things with Pinewood Pursuit created by Nate the Great 25. And here they say, Hi Johnny, excited to submit my first ever contest. I also wanted to thank you for everything you have done for this awesome community. Oh, you're very welcome. <laughs> it's about time somebody showed some gratitude. I'm kidding. You, uh, you were really the greatest. Aw, oh, onto the creation. Oh, my moment's over. Uh, I'm excited to present the Pinewood Pursuit. A realistic GCI style wooden coaster, including many new elements. I'm excited to see in real life. Choose between the coyote and the fox as you trek to the serene wilderness. The coasters interact with each other throughout the layout with corkscrews, zero G stalls, and overbanked turns. I spent a lot of time working on the smoothing of the coaster using the four meter smoothing method to try and keep the track shaping as clean as possible. Thank you so much for helping this community and doing these contests. Keep up the good work, Nathan. Oh, so much gratitude. All right, we have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Moving on to the next creation. <laughs> okay, here we are at the Pinewood Pursuit. It's looking really nice. Love the uh, details of the nature. Super detailed, uh, what do you call that, creeks there? It's looking nice. So it's a bit of an alpine style build here. Oh, we got some chief beefs. What's he doing in the box, everyone? Oh, oh. hey, ho, oh. uh, I'm getting crazy. What are we doing here? We're going down a queue. Ooh. Yeah, this is a very fun queue. And here we are at the first of two wooden coasters, the wolf. So this is the fox versus wolf. That is the theme here today. Green across the board, good stats on this guy. Because there's a four meter smoothing method, we're gonna do the first coaster in track view, but then the next one we'll do from the back. I see a lot of people in the comments requesting for more of that backseat stuff. So we're, we're gonna try and mix it up throughout the contest as much as possible. I think I've given a good variety up until this point, but because of the four meter smoothing method, we definitely want to see how smooth this is. Let's go. Beautiful, very smooth. Let's hop over to, I mean, we'll go down the queue for this one as well. I think there's been a lot of effort put into these queues. Pretty windy. Lots of people jam packed onto this. And here we go. This must be the fox or the coyote, sorry. Why do they think fox? Is that, eh, it's practically the same thing. Almost green across the board, 0 0.05 away from getting that green stat. That's unfortunate, but good looking stats overall. And this guy, I think what we'll do is we'll switch it to the very back car and do the look forward. I think that's the best way to do it. If you go in seat, you see a little bit too much of that head in your way. So I think this is the best option. Let's go.
I love it. Two beautiful wooden coaster layouts. I am a big fan. Uh, I love me a good wooden coaster. It looks great. Wooden coasters will probably be the most difficult coasters in the uh, selection to get them to duel. You have the dueling elements. Yeah, a good handful. It came more across as a dueling coaster than a racing coaster. So good job there making each one feel uh, different with different elements and they both do uh, no limits. So that's really cool going back to what I was talking about in the last episode about like this is what I expect from advanced builders. I want the advanced builders to step up their game. I definitely feel that here. We can even see the attention to detail on the sandy shore with the uh, terrain work, the painting, and you really had a vision here. You're going for an alpine setting. You made two pretty nice boarding stations, really focused on the coasters, making them the hero, but then you, you know, highlighted it all and uh, brought it all together and made it look presentable. It's very clean. You had a vision and it's neat. It's neat and tidy. However, for the fox, or was it, I keep forgetting what it is, coyote versus uh, wolf. It's it's tough to do because they're very nature-esque, but I'm sure there's something on the um, Theme Maker Toolkit Workshop of somebody probably made a, a fox or a coyote or a, a wolf. And maybe you could have like um, a tribute to them. Like for this station, you have this big wolf howling at the moon, something like that. Fox den, or I keep, the, yeah, a coyote den. I don't know. <laughs> you know, some some sort of more elements and statues and representations of your animals throughout this nature walk. You see all these coyotes and wolves, even if they're just statues throughout, you know, roaming about. Like I said, a coyote den or something would have been cool. Fox statue. And then you could also do the big basic shapes. Uh, maybe there's like a big sign or something and it's the silhouette of a wolf head or you get to the top of this and like I said, a wolf howling at the moon and, and it's a sign here or like a, a cover. You could add like a, a cover at the top here and then inside there you have some, you know, images on the walls or something. I think there's ways to bring out those elements and I don't see enough effort gone into representing your two... Uh, uh, characters other than the fact that you just name them coyote and wolf I don't see anything else representing the coyotes and wolves or I think you could have it feels like a bit of an afterthought and that is half of the idea of the contest nonetheless I really enjoyed the coasters I think the contents there I think the creativity's there and also the advanced artistic polish this is exactly what I expect to see from our advanced builder bracket I think you fell short on pushing the creativity of your character choices. So something to work on there for the future, um, but nonetheless, good job at keeping everything really t tidy, clean, really great coaster, which is, you know, the hero, essentially. That's what we're doing. It's a coaster spotlight representing the advanced builder bracket thoroughly. So, yep, really good stuff here. Nate the Great. What did you guys think? Leave your comments down below for Nate the Great. And that's going to do it for me in today's episode. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, share it with your friends, all that good stuff. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. And we'll see you in the next contest submission. Bye now.